asked ourselves when we started the foundation was what's the goal? Where were we actually trying to get to? How can our economy really run in the long term when it's dependent on taking a material out of the ground, making something out of it, and ultimately throwing it away? We thought there had to be another way. Surely there's a way we could build our economy by design from the outset so that it could be regenerative, restorative, and the more that we did of it, the better. And we started to look into different schools of thought, like cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, industrial symbiosis, biomimicry, the performance economy, sharing economy. Different ideas that really enable different business models to thrive and economy to function in a very different way. We chose to work in four areas to inspire a generation in our work with education. We now have an international universities program. With business, cities, regions and government, we wanted to catalyze change to really find collaborations that can help this to be unlocked at scale. And then on analysis and insight, we wanted to work to prove the economic rationale for a circular economy. What's this worth the global economy? Will it deliver growth? And we found that it really did. Growth decoupled from resource constraints. And on top of all of that was communication, taking this out to a broader audience in an innovative and creative way to help people understand just what an incredibly different economy we can have if from the outset we can design it to really work in the long term. And we've seen incredible momentum building over the last few years. It's extraordinary to see the take up from businesses and governments. We still have a long way to go. But what's exciting is the enabling conditions are happening. We have the digital revolution, with new business models across the world, we've seen change at a pace we've never seen before. If ever there's a time that we can accelerate the circular economy, we really do believe it's now.